Today I want to talk to you about portion sizes, how should you measure your food without having any tools with you, no scales, no calorie counting, what should you be doing to make sure you're not eating too much. So I'm not doing anything really amazing today, just some chicken, vegetables and rice, just to illustrate how you should measure your portion sizes with your hand. So I'm going to start off with your fat. Your fat should be the size of thumb. Now I'm cooking today for me and my husband. So it's my thumb and his thumb, um, two of his thumb in fact. For men, everything is double portions. So I'm gonna use coconut oil um, today. So it's quite a large chunk. Just doing, we'll get that melted. Because we're using chicken, it does contain fat. So when you're looking at a thumb sized portion of fat, Think about the fact that there is some fat in the meat already, so just have a little bit less than what you might consider to be a whole thumb size. If you're not using meat and you're using something um, vegetarian, for instance, that is extremely low fat, then you want to up the portion of the fat and make sure you get enough fat in your meal to make it balanced. Okay, when the oil's melted, I'm going to just put some garlic and chilli in there. Um, but I'm also going to put in the chicken, and that's what I want to show you. So the chicken, or your protein, um, should be the size of your palm of your hand. So that's the thickness and the width. Um, so if you look here, so I've got mine, which is about that size there. But then the other two piles are the sizes of um, my husband's hand. He's got bigger hands than me, and he needs two portions for a man. So there's quite a lot of chicken there, um, but we'll eat that between us. The chicken's cooking. Um, I've crushed some garlic in there and some chilli as well. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'll show, show you the vegetables. Okay, so I've cut up a pile of vegetables. Um, absolutely any vegetables at all. Um, this is just what I had in my fridge. But just to give you an idea, for women, you use one clenched fist size. So roughly speaking, that is about this cup here. Um, and then for men, two fists, but of course their fists are bigger as well, so they need slightly bigger cups, two of these. Okay, so this roughly speaking is about two large cups and one small cup of vegetables. The chicken's nearly cooked through, so I'm just gonna chuck the vegetables into the pan. Finally, you need to add your carbohydrates. Today, this is going to be rice. I'm just using pre-cooked rice, just because that's easiest. Um, whole grain. Make sure you get whole grain wherever possible. So for this, it really is a small portion. Probably a lot smaller than you're used to eating. Um, for a woman, it's just a cupped hand size. And again, two for a man, but remembering they've got bigger hands. So I'll just show you how much that ends up being. So look, I mean that really is a tiny amount, okay? And then for a man, I'll just pile it up a bit higher. Roughly speaking, if you're cooking from a man and a woman, you're nearly at a pack, but for uh, two men, you would use a whole pack for this. Okay, so this, everything's cooked, just finally giving a little bit of flavour. Um, any herbs and spices you just want to add. Seasoned everything, make sure it tastes how you want. And it's done. Okay, so all served up. Just remember when you're serving up, the man's getting twice as much. So don't forget that, ladies, and then you'll still be in your portion sizes. So there you go, one perfectly balanced meal and not a set of scales in sight.